In this morning's Money Watch, the so-called quit rate that people uh, quitting jobs is hitting a historic high now. And a new report on inflation will be out in just a couple of hours. Jane King is live in New York following those stories and more. Good morning, Jane. Uh, hi, Margaret Ann and Chell. Good morning. Yes, inflation is the buzzword of the time, and we do get a fresh number on this at 8.30 this morning. So we do expect it to show inflation high and perhaps running hot for months to come. Now, economists say the recent surge in energy prices especially, uh, along with rising rents, that makes it possible that the CPI, the Consumer Price Index number, that's what we're getting, remains elevated. Well, COVID-19 has been a financial boon or bust for workers depending on your personal financial situation. Northwestern Mutual found the pandemic prompted 35% of Americans to change the age when they plan to retire. Now, those who put off their retirement date said they did so by about three to five years. And the pandemic seemed to make people rethink what they want out of life. Another four million Americans quit jobs in September for the fifth month in a row. Restaurants and hotel workers are quitting at a rate that's twice the national average. There are now 10 million jobs available in the U.S. And the Dow fell for a third straight day yesterday. Markets in wait and see mode as we start to get these earnings coming out. So just a little bit, we're going to hear from Delta Airlines. JP Morgan Chase is out today as well with their quarterly numbers. And ahead of all that, we're looking higher. Live on the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King. Back to you. All right, some interesting updates. Thanks, Jane.